Hi, uh, my name is Mike DePaula. I uh, work at uh, Chancellor Senior Management in Columbus, Ohio. I'm the Director of Administrative Services, which is a fancy way of saying I'm the CFO and Director of HR for our organization. We have uh, 15 communities, assisted living communities. We operate, own and operate in uh, two states, in Ohio and West Virginia, primarily in, in rural areas. And uh, really what drove me down here to come to the training, we, I read an article a few months ago about the success of what uh, PALS has enjoyed with very, very low employee turnover. And that's one of our biggest challenges, really, in our whole industry, if you will. And uh, so I wanted to find out the secret in there, and that's really why I'm here. And uh, uh, it's certainly been something that the, the, the day and a half I've been here so far, I've really uh, I learned a lot about that on how I feel empowered that we can go back and hopefully uh, tackle this challenge uh, moving forward on focusing on the, uh, you know, the, the way to process, improve, and train, and orient better to have us have a, a lot better success rate in recruiting and retaining uh, staff to care for our greatest generation, uh, if you will. I think um, certainly how we select our staff, we need to be more uh, intentional on that whole process, how we uh, select and identify our staff, because not everyone is a good caregiver for someone who has health care and, and uh, medical needs uh, uh, in, in society. So we want to make sure we select better up front, and then certainly the the uh, onboarding program in there where we just need to do uh, be much more thorough, have greater leadership involvement to really help us to, uh, to ensure better success and really better uh, commitment from our staff. I think, you know, we have a book, we call it The Chancellor Way, you know, and it, it's, it's what we believe in. It's our version of Disney, if you will. And, uh, but we, we, we really haven't brought it to light like I've, I've David has walked us through the, uh, the conditions of employment, really made that a living, breathing document that the, the leader spends two to three hours going through and gets a buy-in, 100% buy-in on there, not a 85 or 90% buy-in. And that's something that, uh, uh, it's been interesting, you know, it really to shoot for perfection, uh, even though uh, it, we know perfection is not attainable, but that's what you go for uh, versus uh, uh, going for a lower bar. So that's something that we, uh, you know, raising the bar and not settling for uh, uh, mediocrity or just slightly better than our competitors. So that's, that's been uh, uplifting and encouraging to see it can be done. I know it's a different field and we're going to have to chancellorize it from what, from what PALS has done, but, but I you know, see other folks out there in other fields and, and I know we can do this. We've, we've tried from our customer service and other things to look to other industries as well in the past, whether it be the hotel industry or, or other industries, and, and certainly uh, uh, we don't know everything in healthcare, and so this is, I see many of these uh, traits and skills are adaptable uh, to what we do. So, uh, yeah, absolutely, I will recommend it to my colleagues back, uh, back in the uh, Midwest, back in Ohio, and, uh, and certainly, you know, hope to see uh, improvements on our own company here, you know, in the fourth quarter here in 2016, and then going into 2017. So, yeah, I, I think it has a lot of transferables to, uh, to the healthcare field.